Welcome to School Rock Tips and Tricks. We're having a conversation with Isaac. Hello. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so Isaac and I have been working together since he was a little brother. Yeah. In his um, intermediate school uniform, he used to rocking and, and um, we played songs that he would never play now. <laughs> so um, so we're, we're going to have a little conversation about songwriting. Um, it's not really an interview, but it's a, it's a conversation between two songwriters, peers. Um, so we're recording a few of your songs for, for a podcast type thing. Um, and I want to talk to you about your process, because we talk about process all the time, and I push you to do things and I give you challenges. And you come out completely different to what the challenge is, which is great. That's what a songwriter should be doing. Yeah. Um, Anybody I've ever taught that, that is worth their salt, take my information and filter it to their own way of doing it. So tell me, what is your process when, when it's working really organically and fast? Um, well, I don't really have a process, if I'm honest. Yep. I kind of just think of ideas throughout my day, and then I write them on my phone and then when I have time to sit down or when I'm in the mood to or I just feel like I could write something good I just sit down with my guitar and get out my notes and just think of something yeah I don't know that's cool so the one thing that's really different about us as songwriters that I really enjoy watching your process on is I'm a momentary guy like you give me <clears throat> five minutes I'll write a three minute song and give me ten minutes I'll write a six minute song you know you're not like that you're not like you 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 fine tooth comb your lyrics in a certain way where you, <clears throat> and you come up with some amazing stuff like stuff I've never had come across before so we've we've actually written a song together as well that um, we threw lines around together and it came out completely different because you were in the process. So tell me about um, your fine tooth comb process and how. So, so you, you said before you don't have a process, that's what I like. There is a process from my point of view, right. not so much from yours, but. <clears throat> Do you ever find those those lyrics get lost because you go through the fine tooth process, or is it um, more that you know you'll go back to them? Um, uh, I don't know. I kind of just I'm quite hard on my lyrics. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. I like to go through them, and I'm not gonna stop going through my lyrics until I'm perfectly happy with them. So I do probably lose a lot of ideas and lyrics, but I don't know, I'm happy for yeah. that to happen if I can get a perfect song in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me it's worth losing a couple of lines to, to get something that's really yeah. worthwhile? And if I do think <coughs> it's that good, but it just doesn't fit in the song, I'll just write it down on a separate mm. thing and keep it for later. That's great. I'd love to have this conversation in 10 years time to see what, um, well, I've always been very quick um, and younger it, it wasn't that I was hard on myself. Like I've done it so much, it might sound like it, it might sound like it, my lyrics are really well worked through, but it happens quicker because I've got the language of songwriting. Yeah. Um, for you obviously, like, you want a finished product to be of that standard that, um, like, you're, you're reaching standards I can even thirty years later, you know. So, so like, I, I really um, applaud your, um, your process and, and the way you're so hard on yourself. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm really impressed and proud of you as a songwriter. Like, you're, you're really something to. To behold as a musician. Um, my pleasure, man. Like, I think you're a star, bro. Um, <clears throat> so I'd love to 
um, have a conversation like this in 10 years time and see whether you flow more like me because you've got the language of songwriting down um, or if you're still a fine tooth comb person because some people will remain that way for the rest of their lives yeah. um, and that's okay too um, your songs are often a little bit more technical chord wise like all of them are you don't have a lot of I write some technical stuff and I write some stuff that's just poppy country blues you know the really simple chord progressions and stuff and, and put my put my process into that lyricism yet it happens fast where you you've got <coughs> your songs are a bit more elaborate you know and I really like that um so is it a deal? We'll have this conversation again in ten years' time. <laughs> well, not the same though. No. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a good answer. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, um, thank you for listening. Um, this is Isaac Roberts, um, and I'm Jay Bedford. And maybe one day we'll sit down and play the song that we wrote together. Um, I don't even know if you know fully how it goes because I kind of took it <laughs> away. So, um, so it's cool. Ta-da. See ya.